In this video, I'm going to show you how to work with a two-way table like this one. A two-way table just has some labels going down the side, some labels going across the top, and you can see how those interact with each other. For example, um, we have some students who uh, ride with someone, and some students are juniors. So the number 100 represents um, juniors who ride with someone. So um, that's how a two-way table works. In this video, we're going to be calculating probabilities. So we'll be doing, um, we'll be doing uh, A or B, A and B, the probability of A given B, all of that kind of stuff. So let's get started. So we have the B, D, R, and O. Uh, people who ride the bus, people who drive themselves, um, people who ride with someone, and people who take other transportation. Okay, so that's what's going on across the top. And of course we have freshmen, sophomores, juniors, and seniors. Um, across the bottom and down the right hand side will be totals. So for example, um, if I add up these four numbers, I'm going to get 917. Uh, what if I add up these four numbers? Okay, I don't need to put in the zero, but I'm going to have 21 plus 194 plus 271. Okay, so that's 486. Okay, similarly, if I add up the numbers across this row, I should get this total over here. Okay, um, I might have to move this a little bit. Okay, so I'm doing juniors. So that's going to be 199 plus 194 plus 100 plus 31. 524. Now, if I want to uh, calculate the total number of people, I could either add up all of the freshmen, sophomores, juniors, and seniors, or I can add up all the people who ride a bus, drive themselves, ride with others, or other transportation. Either way, that should give me the total number of people. So I think I will add up this vertical column because I like the look of it. So that's going to be 582 people plus 531 people. Um, plus 524 plus 467. 2,104. So that's going to be 2,104. Now we're all set. Problem number one. What's the probability that a student is a freshman who rides the bus? All right, so I don't see the word and or the word or. But if we're talking about someone who is a freshman who is riding the bus, um, both of those things are happening at the same time. So it's really implied that that's going to be an and problem. So we're talking about the probability um, that a person is a freshman. Okay, we're supposed to use FR and at the same time they ride the bus, okay, which is B. So that's the symbols. When I, whenever I do an and problem, I always use two colors because when you're doing an and, you're looking for the overlap of these two events. So freshman is one event, so kabam, here's the freshman event, and then bus riders, is another event and I'll do that in blue because that way when they overlap it should turn green it's like magic okay um, so as soon as I see that we're talking about probability a phrase jumps into my head probability at its essence is target over total target over total that's what probability is. 
All right, that means um, it's whatever amount that you're looking for divided by the total. So in this case, we figured out at the beginning that the total is 2,104. Okay, so right at the start, I'm going to have 2,104 for the total. Um, now the target is what we were looking for, someone who is a freshman and rides the bus. Freshmen who ride the bus. So that's going to be the number in this little green overlapping area. Now looking up at the real chart, that number is 372. So that's my target. So I will do 372. Okay, now I can turn that into a decimal or a fraction uh, or a reduced fraction. Look, I'm going to work through this like one time. Uh, and then, but all the other problems, I'm just going to assume that you can do it. Because um, the, the interesting part is really over. The, the rest of this is, is trivial. I can uh, set up a fraction like 372 over 2,104. And that will give me a simplified fraction, 93 over 526. Okay, 93 over 526. I can turn that into a decimal by hitting the toggle key. Uh, I'm going to write down four decimal places, 0 0.1768, 0 0.1768. And the reason why I like to use four decimal places is so when I turn this into a percent, I still have two extra decimal places. So this would be 17.68%. I have to slide this over a little bit. So all of these are valid answers. All right, in the interest of time, I'm not going to write all of these each time. I'm just going to write the initial fraction, and then I'm going to assume that you can turn it into a reduced fraction and a decimal and a percent on your own. That's easy peasy. OK, um, otherwise I'll bore you to tears with all of these little details that you, al you already know how to do. That's not what you're here for. You want some good old probability. All right, moving on. Um, the probability that a student is a sophomore or drives. This time they were kind enough to literally give us the word or to make it um, obvious what to do. So uh, this is the and symbol, in case you weren't uh, picking up on that. Um, the or symbol looks like this. A student that is a sophomore, what do we have? S-O, yeah. So we have sophomore or drives. Okay, this is the and symbol, this is the or symbol. Um, please remember that or is more. Okay, see the word or? And now I'm going to cleverly put an M in front and an E on the back. I got this from another teacher, Ms. shout out to uh, Miss Kennedy. Or is more. So, um, that means I don't need two different colors because I'm not going to do the overlap. I'm just going to use one color uh, whenever it's an or problem because I'm just going to highlight everything in the same color and that's going to be the answer. Um, so, sophomores, all right, here are my sophomores. All right, but or is more. I don't care about the overlap. I just, I want it all. Um, so now I want my drivers. So that's the D column. So that's this. Okay, so what I've just highlighted is my target. I don't care about the overlap. When it's or, you just use it all. Okay, so this is what? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, I've got seven numbers here. So look back at the original chart. Okay, it's hard to follow. So these are the seven numbers I'm talking about. Okay, um, so I'm about to add up all of those numbers. Let's see. If I add up all the horizontal numbers, that's 531. So I can kind of start with that. So I've got 531. Now, a common mistake would be to add 486 to this. Um, but I already, I already counted the 21 when I counted horizontally. 
So when I do the vertical part, I'm not going to count the 21 again. So I'm just going to add the 271, and I'm going to add the 194. OK, and I don't need to type in the 0. But I am not going to add the 21 again, because that was part of the uh, 531. OK, so boom, 996. That is the total highlighted. So that's going to be 996. OK, that's the target. So remember, target over total. The highlighted part is the target. The total is still 2,104. It's a red number right here. OK, number three, the probability that a student is a freshman given that he or she rides the bus. So the probability that a student is a freshman given that he or she rides the bus. There's the symbol for that. Now I love given that problems. I love it when they say given because these problems are always going to be super easy for the following reason. Um, remember how probability is always target over total? Well, check it out. Um, the whatever is given, that's always the, the brand new total. And uh, this other thing that they're inquiring about is always going to be the target. So it's very easy to come up with the right answer if you start with the given. Start with the total. All right? You have to start here. Okay, so B is the new total. Let's highlight that. Okay, so this is the new total. When you're dealing with a given problem, highlight your new total and immediately cross out everything else so you don't get distracted by the, the other numbers. Okay, on a given problem, once you highlight the given, you will not use any other numbers. So what I've highlighted here is my new total, the B column. Um, I think we already have that number. All right, that, that was 917. OK, so that is the new total. So instead of 2,104, the new total is 917. That's what happens when you are given something. It gives you a new, smaller total. Now the target is going to be freshmen. But I already threw out all of these other columns. I'm only dealing with the given. So it's a matter of what part of this column is freshmen. And you can probably see that it's going to be this one block right here. That's the freshman. All right, the freshman that I didn't already cross out. So that is going to be the target. OK, and that is 372. Number four, we're supposed to take these symbols and put it into words first. So this is the probability um, that a person drives given that he or she is a senior. All right? So I'm just going to write that down. So there you go. Again, I love given problems because they just write themselves. Um, this, a given problem is already in the order target and then total. All you have to do is start with the total. So this will be the new total, seniors. So here are my seniors. And when you're dealing with a given problem, you highlight the new total and you throw away everything else. Let's cross it out. OK, so what is this new total? Well, it's, it's going to be the total of all the seniors. And that was 407, uh, 467. So 467. Now the target is going to come from the D, all right, the drivers. So which of these seniors 
our drivers? Well, that's going to be um, this one box right here, the second box. Um, so that is going to be 271. And that's it. Looking at problem number five, this is the probability of being a driver, of a person being a driver, given that he or she is a sophomore. So I'm just going to write that down. And once again, the reason why problems where we're given something are so easy is because that given is always going to turn out to be the new total. And the other number is going to be the target. Uh, you're going to get the right answer as long as you start with the new total. So sophomores are the new total. You need to cross out everything else. Okay, so no more juniors, no more seniors, no more freshmen. All gone. All right, only sophomores. So let's see, what is that new Total, um, 531. Now, what's the target? Um, we want the probability that a person is a driver. So this D is the target. So um, ignoring what we already crossed out, Here's the drivers. This box represents the drivers right here. Okay, so how many is that? That's 21. Sophomore drivers, that's 21. And there you go. Okay, uh, problem number six. They already uh, highlighted everything for us. So, um, let's see. I see all just one color. So it seems like this is trying to be an or problem. I don't see any indication that um, they're just like looking for just the overlap. It looks like they're using uh, they, you know, they just use one color, sort of like when I, when I did problem number two. Okay, so I'm going to treat it that way. So it seems like they're talking about um, the probability of being a freshman or a writer. So I'm just going to write that down. So there you go. And here come the symbols. The probability that someone is a freshman or rides with someone. All right, and they already highlighted everything for us. Um, so the total, so we're, we're away from the given problems. This is not a given problem. So the total is gonna be the total of the entire chart, which uh, at the beginning we decided that that was 2,104. Uh, I think my 486 moved. Let me fix that. All right, so 2,104. All right, we're back to that. And the target is everything that they highlighted. Okay, freshmen, writers, all of that. So let's see. We have the freshmen, we have the riders. Okay, let's start with the riders column. Um, that's 499. So if I want to add up all seven of these numbers, uh, I think it would be easiest to start by, with these four numbers right here, because it's already 499. So I'm just going to take that 499 and add the numbers that I haven't done yet. Okay, be careful not to add 163 again. That's part of the 499. 
Now I just need the 372, the 0, and the 47. Of course, adding 0 doesn't do anything. So I really just need to add 372 and 47. Do not add the 163. So that's 918. And that is how you do it. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Go ahead and click here in the red apple to watch the next video. Click in the green apple to subscribe. Or click the yellow apple for the full playlist.